everybody. Um, my name's Heather Wilkins. Some of you may know already that we originally did a Fly on the Wall documentary in 1974. I was 15 years old at the time. And maybe you don't know, but that's where I'm known from. And I also did some recent little documentaries or, or an interview on YouTube with Treble Clef mm. Entertainments recently. So following on from that, I've been asked a few questions and I'm hopefully going to answer them for you today. Um, also open it out to answer other questions for in the future when we do some more up and coming documentaries. One of the questions that I've been answered, asked, sorry, asked for is um, what I think of the comments and the support that's been on the original documentary that we've put out. Um, and I have to say that I was quite surprised by how many people remember and have come forward with all their support and comments. And it's been really nice, really nice to touch base with some of you and get all your feedback. Um, really, really great to see and uh, catching up to see how many people and how old they were at the time and things like that. So yeah, really great, keep that coming. Um, I'd love to answer as many questions as I possibly can for you about then or even what happened after or up to now. Um, another question that I've been asked is, uh, let me see, was I surprised by how many fans that we still have? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's a lot of years ago, 1974, and uh, you know, a lot of people saw that at different ages, followed different members of the family. Uh, some were my age group, some were my brother's age group, my mother, my father's, my sisters and my other brothers. So they're varied age groups and um, it's been a real surprise to see how many fans there are. Even looking back at the family programs on YouTube and seeing how many um, views that they've had is incredible. So yeah, that's really great. Um, so, question three. Uh, do you... Okay, do I want to say anything about it? Um, there's a lot I would like to say. Um, I would like to um, answer a lot of questions and I would like to share a lot of things I've been through, even myself, um, during the programme, after the programme, what happened to me through and the years up to now you know my life was pretty colorful and um i've had some really i'd say they're great experiences really because um now i'm through them and further on in life um i can see the benefits of how you can help and share with other people that maybe are still in any of those situations so yeah there's a lot of things that i'd like to talk about um so somebody asked, will we do another documentary? Um, as a family as a whole, uh, bearing in mind that we're all grown up with families of our own now and grandchildren, great grandchildren, um, it would be probably done so differently. Um, how would they, number one, just choose one of us? Um, that could be tricky. People have different people that they follow or related to in the original program. Um, so I guess, I guess they would be more of a case of some sort of update, seeing what's happened to each and every one of you, us uh, over the years. And uh, yeah, I think coming from somebody who didn't even want to do it when I was uh, 15 and resented initially, just initially, people all in the house and what was going on. Um, that's something that I'd be really happy with right now. Yeah, I think there's a lot of things. I've seen a lot of questions. Um, you know, that I think, you know, need ex explanations and I can see how some people have been drawn to wrong conclusions. So, yeah, there's some things that I think, you know, it would be really good to put right. And um, and I think it, it'd be nice for the fans to be able to see each individual, how they're doing now. So if something like that was possible, of course, because as I say, we're all different um, areas of the country and doing different things. Uh is there going to be more YouTube videos about me? Yes, there is. There there should be quite a few um, 
YouTube videos about me. We would be doing them in sections and trying to keep them short as possible as we appreciate time these days. People sitting down and, and watching and in between everything else they're doing. So we're going to try and keep them as brief as possible. And we're going to try and cover some of the topics, topics that were in the original documentary and at the same time fill you in on things that I personally went through myself and and how I've come out of all that. So, yeah, we will be doing that. So look forward to talking to you all soon. If there's any questions or anything you personally would like to know, I'd love you to send us in your questions and we'll get them answered for you. OK, thank you. What makes me sick though, we got rid of her, but she comes up here every day. The first day she moved in, she was up here. Hi, to understand people. Don't bother. Why should I understand someone that's ignorant?